And where where's your school? It's in Sells, Arizona. It's uh, southwest of uh, Tucson, Arizona, by about 45 miles or so. And what's the background of most of your of your student athletes? Um, most of our student athletes kind of come from all over. Um, our this is our first year having a women's basketball program. Um, the second year for the men, so it, it's it's really to, to raise awareness for for getting young people in the community and cells to, to start thinking about athletics and that sort of thing. Um, our girls come from Las Vegas, uh, New Mexico, the Four Corners area in northern Arizona, uh, Tucson, cells, uh, all over the place. So this is the first year for your program and you're here in the national tournament. How's that going? That's fun. Uh, so far we're 3-0, and playing really well, playing really hard. Uh, a, a very tough conference schedule that we played in Arizona definitely got us prepared, and, and they're having a blast being out here in Minnesota. It's, uh, it's our first time for, actually, I think it's everybody on our team's first time being out to Minnesota uh, ever, and they're just they're loving it and having a blast. You know, we've got a storm coming on Sunday night. You'll be probably gone by then. Uh, no, we leave Monday. We leave Monday, so uh, the, as cold as it, you guys call it warm, we call it freezing. Uh, but they, they've been having a blast. They're throwing snowballs around, and it, we'll see how the snow hits us. <laughs> you know, we like hearing stories about you know overcomers and success, and people have worked hard. Can you maybe pick out one or two of the of the student athletes on your team and just tell me what you can about about how they've done and, and maybe some inspirational stories about what what they've moved through. Um, you know, we, we've got we've got a lot of, of great stories on our team. Uh, we, we have one player who actually has a master's degree from Cornell University, heard about the program and just and had eligibility, wanted to come play, and, and she's doing a fantastic job. We've got uh, players who uh, were working for the nation um, and ended up just quitting their jobs because they wanted to come play uh, and have the opportunity to play college basketball. Um, we have a girl, uh, our starting point guard, uh, she comes from Many Farms, Arizona. Um, she wasn't recruited until late July when I found her and now, and she turned out to be one of the, the more productive players in our conference. Um, with it, we have stories all over the place and it's, it's really hard to just pick out which one um, some of the girls come from, you know, Sheep Springs, New Mexico, really small towns. I mean, just they, they, they found ways to, to make it to us so that they could play college basketball. It, it sounds a little bit like a bottled up interest for for playing ball or for is that a Native American thing or is that a it, it is uh, especially on, on the Tejano. I mean, on every reservation that I've been to, basketball is is king. Um, and, and especially on the Tahano Atham Reservation, it's it's basketball. They they live. You go every single house has a hoop somewhere, um, and and it's just it's getting everybody out to, to play. And it's I the the fan support out in cells is amazing. Um, we're we're one of the few junior colleges that actually gets to travel places. And we actually took our men's team to Salt Lake City last year, and we had fans drive from cells to Salt Lake City just to be a part of it, just to be around the game. How far is that? Oh, that's, uh, well, it was a three-hour plane ride from where we were. I think it's a 10-hour drive minimum that they just they drove all the way up through. I mean, southern Arizona to mid to northern Utah. They, they got there, and they were there during the game and cheering us on. How do you like your chances for the tournament? Uh, I, I like them. Our, our girls are playing really hard. Um, you know, there, there's there's some good teams in this tournament, that, and everybody's just here having fun and playing hard. Uh, I, I really like what we do and, and the way our girls are playing right now. They, they seem to be on a nice little roll. Thanks, Coach. Thank you so much. So um, would you be willing to ask that girl, the girl who came from Cornell and then wanted to use up her eligibility, if she'd be willing to talk to us? Here. Darling, come here. I'm JP Rehnquist. I'm with the tribal radio station here. Darlene Danigan. What's your name? Darlene Danigan. Okay, Darlene, can I ask you a few questions? Yes. Okay. Um, first, if you can just tell me your full name and spelling. Okay, Darlene Danahy. D-A-R-L-E-N-E-D-A-N-E-H-Y. 
And what's your cultural background, Darlene? Um, I'm actually Hispanic, and so I have some native mixed in there somewhere, but it's kind of been, uh, I don't know, watered down, I guess. And then I'm half, well, I'm half Hispanic, quarter Irish, and quarter Italian. So. Like, I'm, <laughs> like I'm, you're American. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. So kind of nice coach told me that you went to Cornell, <laughs> and you got some degrees, I guess, and then you came back and wanted to play ball with, um, with this team here. So t- describe some of that journey for me. Um, well, I, you know, I went straight through school. I got my bachelor's at the University of Arizona, and then I went on and got my master's at Cornell. Um, I've been working for almost seven years now as a civil engineer, but I, I've always been involved in sports. I played five sports in high school. I've been playing a lot of volleyball, and I've been actually coaching a lot of basketball. And this opportunity came along, and I've always wanted to be a you know, college athlete. And I played you know, some things in college here and there, but never really for my school. Um, and so this came along, and it was just something I've always wanted to do. And... And some people think I'm crazy, and, and some people think it's awesome, but it's it's a dream that I, I guess I never gave up on. And I, I mean, I never thought it would happen at this point in my life, but for, I mean, to get the opportunity, I just, I knew I had to take it. Why didn't you play in college? Um, I, well, I'm, I'm actually, I think I'm better at volleyball than I am at basketball. Um, and I, but I didn't really get any offers to play. And so I played club sports in college and club volleyball, I guess. Um, but I didn't really have offers to play anywhere, so... That was, that was that. I mean, I wanted to and I tried, but it uh, uh, didn't happen for me. So. so what's it like being in college today? You got the master's degree. I mean, do you feel like getting up and teaching the class sometimes <laughs> instead of just being a student? Um, there are some classes that there are things that I've, I kind of know and it's not as difficult for me, but I'm taking, like right now I'm taking the uh, Tohono O'odham language class, and that's obviously something I've never dealt with before. So it's, I'm just a student there. I have no way that I'd be able to teach things. and. Um, I'm trying to find different classes that you know are new to me, so it's it keeps it interesting. First year, your program and this, uh, so I assume your first year playing with these with this crew. How has it been, you know, bringing together these people from you know from up several different you know areas or you know different walks of life, some diversity. Uh, it's been really interesting, and, and especially for me, I mean, to see all the different native groups come in. Um, so we have one from a bunch of different places, so it's. It's interesting to me to see like different cultures and kind of, I mean, any team you bring together, I guess, is going to have some diversity, but I think, you know, on the college level and then especially with the tribal college and seeing all the different native groups represented, I mean, not all of them, but a lot of them represented, it's it's fascinating. And to see just the way, the different ways that people were raised and the way, I mean, the culture and everything else, it's been, it's been very interesting. And I feel like I learn something new almost every day. And do you, tell me about your family. Um... Well, my, my mom's a high school teacher. Um, she was born and raised uh, near Mexico, southern town in Arizona. Uh, my dad's actually from L.A. He's a, He coaches basketball, um, and he's a writer. He does, like, some freelance stuff. And I have a, a younger brother that's a computer science major right now. He's finishing up. So it's – and they're all – my brother was also an athlete all through high school. My dad played in college. Um, he played, I think, four or five sports in college, actually. So it's – I mean, sports run in my blood, I guess, and, and uh, academics as well. So – have, how, did your parent, how did your family respond when you said, okay, I want to take my, what was your degree in? Uh, civil engineering. So I want to, <laughs> I'm, whatever you invested in me being a civil engineer, I'm going to, you know, set that aside for a couple of years and play, and go to community college and play basketball. Um, well, there are two things that are, are good about that. One is I actually had scholarships all through school, so they didn't actually have to pay for it, which worked out. Um, but I'm also still working as a civil engineer. Um, and I drive back and forth out to the school and back into Tucson each day, and uh, it's tough. But uh, my dad was thrilled. I mean, he's you know he's an athlete, and I mean, he understands the the desire to play. And uh, my mom was slightly, I mean, not I guess she understands. She doesn't understand it as well. But uh, I think the fact that I'm still working and able to kind of balance both. I mean, I think she thinks I'm a little bit crazy, but <laughs> a lot of people do. Um, but I mean, you know, it's they've been very supportive, and they come out to the games, and they're you know helping me out whenever they can. And, so it's, I mean, it's been good. If you could talk to uh, teen, uh, a teenage girl or a boy, for that matter, here on Fond du Lac Reservation, just about what you've done with your dreams and how you've done it, what would you tell them? I think it's just important. I mean, a couple of things are important. One is to know what your priorities are and be sure to stick with them. And it's not always easy. Like, I mean, for, with school and sports, for example, I mean, you know, you have to get your schoolwork done. And, you know, sometimes you want to be on Facebook or you want to go to the mall or something like that. And it's it's important to get to take care of what you need to take care of first. 
to know, you know, if you're if you're aiming to go to college or you want to play in college, you have those goals, and there are certain things you need to do to accomplish them. And it's it's not always an easy choice, but once you get there, I mean, like for me now, it's not easy for me to, you know, I'm working and I'm playing and I'm doing all this stuff, I'm going to school, and it's it's tough. And sometimes I just want to sit in front of a TV and veg out, but this is what I want to do, and I know that it's important to keep working towards those goals, and it's worth it in the end. What's the quality of play been like so far? Uh, it's been <laughs> it's been an interesting season. The coach um, said you had a really tough season in, in your conference. We did. We play a lot of schools that are, and they're very established, and we play some big schools in terms of numbers and size. And uh, you know we're not very tall, so it's, it's been kind of interesting. And um, but it, I mean it's been a good experience for us, I think. And and we definitely improved as the season went on. And it was kind of hard to tell and playing against some of the top teams in the country and that are happen to be in our conference. Um, but I mean it's it's a good. It's a good learning experience. It made us tougher and it made us stronger as we went along. So good preparation for this tournament. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, we we took our beatings a couple times in the conference, so it's I mean it's nice. Not that we're doing that here, but I mean it, again, it kind of toughened us up physically and mentally. I think so. It's good. Coach, he said. I think he said he, he thought your prospects were pretty good for how you're doing in this tournament. Yeah, um, I think we're playing pretty well. We saw we had a nice little break after our conference season, um, about a week and a half of just practicing, and and I think it's kind of carried over into here. We're we're running pretty well, and our defense is looking relatively solid. I think we're overall uh, feels pretty good. Yeah, thanks a lot for your time. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, could I get a picture of you two together, just a little snapshot? Yeah. So, uh, have you coached before? I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Tim. You coached before Tim? Uh, yeah, I was, I was with the men's program last year as an assistant. Uh, and actually, that guy right there is our athletic director and men's coach. Uh, he made this trip out, uh, and he hired me last so you, year. So you do have a lot of support, huh? Yeah. You get a couple of you guys here. These are just for... Put, put stuff up online. Hey, people are going to know you just played basketball. You know? Yeah, see, you're sweating all over me. You know what? I don't know how it is. Hey, hey. Uh, were you guys, but around here we say, you know, your beauty is on the inside that comes out, you know, and so you're, so whatever's on the outside, that's just, yeah, well, that's, that's sweat dreamy. that's going from her inside <laughs> out right now. Oh, oh that is I'm sweat. not even going to sweat it. So I'm going to try and watch some of these games as I can, and maybe I'll be talking to you guys again. Yeah, uh, we don't play, I think, until 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Uh, we only had the one game today. We had two yesterday. Girls are going to freeze. What are you going to do with them? For well, we're going to uh, get some food right now and figure it out from there. What? I'm nauseous. Oh, dude. <laughs> Where's your sweatshirt that fit? Somebody took it. So I took her. I love your team, dude, but I'm glad I don't have to touch them. Because they'll do funny things like that. Yep. You got to watch this stuff. All right? Thanks, Coach. Thank you. All right, my man. Take care. Good luck tomorrow.